There are three important guiding principles to how we do things with this educational material. Those three are science, spirituality, and psychotherapy. Now, it's my view that these components are very complementary. They're different, but they each add something to each other. You could just follow a scientific path, but perhaps become too rigid, too analytical. And so with spirituality, you have material that can touch you on a more emotional, basic level of your being. It can touch your heart, and that's what we get through spirituality and a lineage of, of, of wisdom that's come through learnings over a long period of time. Spirituality is not religion. It's a path for us to generate happiness, understanding and love so that we can live deeply each moment of our life. Having a spiritual dimension in our lives does not mean escaping life or dwelling in a place of bliss outside of the world, but discovering ways to handle life's difficulties and generate peace, joy and happiness right where you are on this beautiful planet. Science has done incredible things. It's taken people to the moon and all sorts of things, but it hasn't done a good enough job of treating people who are suffering psychologically, who are suffering from mental illness. And spirituality, I think, can do something there. And that third component, psychotherapy, I also believe is complementary with spirituality. Yes, you get a lot of that hard work, a lot of the wisdom there, but it's hard to beat talking to someone face to face, being able to, you know, really open up, be heard, that compassionate attention that you can get from a good therapist. So I've been immersed in the world of science for about 15 years or so as a professional. And one thing I'd like to say about it is that it's a method, it's a thing that you do. You'll also notice that I refer to Buddhist themes and themes around meditation quite a lot in this material. And I think it's accurate to say that there are similarities between the approach of science and the approach of Buddhism. Many people would say Buddhism isn't a religion, it's just a thing that you do. Like science, it's a practice. Science is a method, it's a way of scrutinizing the world. And another way that we can look at these things is to try not to take them too seriously. I mean, they're disciplines, both of them, they require discipline, but they're also playful. Isaac Newton said of science that I'm only a, a child on the beach while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. And I think that principle of play, of inquiry, is something that really motivates me. Now on the theme of, of Buddhism, there's this term, it's called uh, Dharma, and it doesn't translate directly into English, but one translation we could use is teachings. Another is the way. Another is truth or the way things really are. The Buddha said that the Dharma I offer you is only a raft to help you cross over to the other shore. The raft is not to be held onto as an object of worship. It is an instrument for crossing over to the shore of well-being. See the science that I'll communicate to you and these principles of teaching, or you might call them wisdom teachings, as just a vehicle, just a vehicle that's been tested through trial and error, like science, through a method, through practice, and just treat them in that way, just as a vehicle to take you somewhere. The spirit of practicing mindfulness, concentration and insight in Buddhism is very close to the spirit of science, we use our clear mind and stillness to look deeply and investigate reality for ourselves with openness and non-discrimination. <laughs>